Hey everyone, so this is my video of my 3D printed Super Constellation designed by Altsy. It is my biggest project so far, so this video is all about my journey that I started back in October. So it's a bit of a long one, but I will be putting uh, time codes in the description there, and so you could jump into the section that you want. Anyway, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, let's roll the intro. second day of um, project super constellation the biggest project that i've got so far give you a bit of a tour quickly of where we got to for two days worth of progress first day was a, a lot of fuselage progress and uh, today not as much because i didn't quite schedule it most efficiently but uh, we still have enough i'll show you the progress of two days worth of printing essentially and where we're at here's um Day one and day two's progress. We've got most of the fuselage now. It's coming along here, right up this tail. The day's progress was not as good because we're starting to print the small little bits now. So I'm building the tail pieces now. So I'm starting with the uh, horizontal stabilizer left pieces here, and then that's a vertical stabilizer that's gonna go up in there. The other thing I did was um, I did the last fuselage 12 in um, PLA because I was going to do a majority PLA build but just for comparison's sake I also printed it in lightweight. I did weigh them up and the two and the PLA surprisingly was around 41 grams whereas the lightweight PLA was only like about 21 grams in there but this it's solid enough but this is just so much more solid. Oh, I also forgot to mention that the uh, whole tail, the, the, the tail wing pieces here, both all the stabilizers that I'm going to use in the tail, I'm going to be printing in lightweight PLA because as I was chatting with the designer, he reckons that I could achieve a better CG if I had some lightweight PLA pieces. So here's the central wing pieces here, uh, that's upside down, but essentially that goes like that. So I, I wanted to build um, one of the nacelles in the engine builds there. So this is one and two pieces there, and then the wing two here, that's wing, the, the, it comes in two pieces as well, and then the engine mounting, so the cowling is a separate piece, and the engine mount piece is there, and it goes in to that bit there and this is the motor mount which is again separate it's really hard to take off so I'm not gonna force it but essentially that's an individual piece this is the sort of the empennage pieces that I've done I think I already mentioned that um, I printed two of that um, fuse 12 pieces there but uh, yeah I think I'm gonna go for the PLA central empennage and uh, we'll see how we go Alright guys, bit of an update on the Constellation project. Um, I think most of the big pieces have been printed, um, bar a few here and there. Anyway, I've assembled it, well I've laid it out, I haven't assembled it, haven't glued it obviously, I've just laid it out to get a bit of a grasp on the size of this model. So I'll show you that in right now. So here it is, yep. Still got a few more pieces to build, but essentially that is sort of the main span of it. It really gives us a bit of an appreciation about how big it is. I'll put something of scale. So here is a 12 pack of eggs over it, just for scale, so everyone knows how big that is. So it, yeah, that's... <laughs> What's next? So obviously finishing up all of the control surfaces and then finishing up whatever's missing here. I'm still debating on the motors to put on here and the types of ESC. So I might um, just, that's probably what's gonna cause me the delay now is to just wait until I make a decision on the motors. Anyway, it's coming along. So uh, yeah, just keep an eye out 
it's gonna get better and better. Hopefully I can see you show more progress. I am quite excited, excited about this model, so yeah. All motors are now wired up, 4-in-1 ESC, tangle of wires, receiver connected. Yep, two, three, four. Yeah, all four motors are go. So I've been hard at soldering at the um, for the Coni. So here is our MR30 motor extender. So these guys connected the ESC, and there's your extender, three and a half mil bullet, pretty standard. And here is our four in one 60 amp BL Heli S ESC because it's a full motor setup. What I've done. So I put MR30s in there so that this will just leave in the fuselage and then every time I disconnect the wing I just have to connect this I don't have to worry about um, reversing the um, direction of the motors because I'll just make sure that I have them configured and then locked in once I've got in installed. The BL Heli S is now working on all four motors. I realized that to make it work is essentially you just have to make sure that you have the um, VBAT negative connected, otherwise the ESC will not arm. That is my biggest learning for today. So in here, so all these little signal wires, you've got motor one, you've got uh, motor three, motor two, and motor four, they're just signal wires, and there's a VBAT negative. And if you ever have a need for a VBAT, VBAT plus, it's got in there just tested it so that's the motor setup electronics for the corner all ready to go Whew, that was a lot of soldering here we are the super constellation complete well, let's see the retracts there we go all three Let's see the underslung flaps again from this angle. Half flaps, full flaps. Three holes and elevator and aileron. Beautiful. All right guys, been building this since October. It's time to maiden this. The conditions are not too bad. Um, yeah, so we will just chuck it into the plane gods and see if she survives. Let's assemble her and get her ready to fly. So I've made it now so that I've only got to connect four things. So BEC, channel two, four, and the nose landing gear in here. So I've got it all ready. So essentially what I can do is just bring the wing over here connect these four things and hopefully it works so let's go all right let's carry the wing over 
put it over roughly in this position. There we go. Let's put it here. Put the power lead in there. Uh, BEC to BEC. One eternity later. Uh, let's just do a bit of a taxi test. We are not taking off. Not taking off. Where's our wind? Mm. All right. Whatever happens. <laughs> Not retracting first, just keeping it. Retracting. It seems to be okay. Might need to be a bit of down. Hang on, let me just get to uh, passes here. Why am I fighting with right here? Uh, this is hands free. Okay. Let's just see how she goes a little bit longer. Yeah, that's true. Right, let's see how she goes on low speed. Now she wants to drop down a little bit. Seems okay. And then one minute already, okay. I'm gonna try half flaps in a sec. Half flaps. That's half flaps. Full flaps. Very slow on full flaps. Climbing. We track flaps. flaps, yep. Gear down. Yeah. Preparing for landing. I'm gonna land on half flaps only. Yeah, and land on half flaps. Deploying flaps once I turn for final. Flaps half now. Yeah. Gonna do a diagonal approach. Was a tip stall of some sort. Yeah. 
she's down. That was a pretty, uh, I dropped the wing there. <laughs> there was a bit of a drop of a wing there, but uh, oh my lordy lord. All right, so 52% three and a half minutes, which means we'll probably run this in about four and a half minutes on that 3300. Successful flight, bent that landing gear a little bit, but so far I think a little bit of a bending here and there should be okay. Successful flight is a successful flight. Um, yeah, I know. See how we go if we push it for another flight, I'll have a think about it. But for now, she's had one flight and it was successful. Yoo-hoo!